Hi, my name is Sam, my pronouns are they, them, and welcome back to my office. So, this morning, we got my coffee. It's like 10 o'clock right now, um, and I just finished with yesterday's vlog, so we're getting started on today. I have a bunch of cleaning to do today, but I really want to focus and prioritize my reading because I want to get some stuff done. So I, the goal for today is to finish Light From Uncommon Stars by Rika Aoki. Goal, finish. Not an unmanageable goal. I've got like 180 pages to go on that. Um, and then I think that I also want to start Dear Centurion by Akweke Amezi. Because this one is about 200 pages, and that's not bad. Um, and then when I am not physically reading, when I have to do my chores and stuff, um, I'm going to be doing some audiobook reading. So potentially I could finish out Cemetery Boys today. I don't know if I will do that or not. We'll see. So ultimately the end goal is to finish two books today. Two of any. And we will see where we can get with that. So let's go get started. Okay, hello. So as we have all noticed, I am not good at checking in at night. Not my strong suit. It's okay. When it's time for bed, it, it's time for bed. I'm not. There is no stopping me. But let's wrap this up by talking about Light from Uncommon Stars by Rika Aoki. I, okay, okay, five stars. Honestly, five stars. I loved it so much in every single capacity. So, I, you know, the last time I checked in, there was kind of like a 50-50 on like where things could start to go. And I think that things kind of went both ways. Um which I really like. I didn't expect the ending in any capacity. Um, and that's not to say like I didn't have ideas about what the ending was gonna be, but it was like, I was thinking option A or option B and it was just like, absolutely not. We're gonna go to option like F. And I was like, okay, fine with me. Rock your shit. <laughs> um, but I've already sung praise about Rika Aoki's writing, but I want to sing it some more because I just really feel like it's necessary to discuss how beautiful the way she weaves a narrative is, the way that she structures her sentences, the, the way that she shifts between perspectives so easily. It's like, it's amazing. I don't think that I've ever really experienced a narrative quite like this one. Um, I find it to be like as impressive as I found N.K. Jemisin's The Fifth Season when I first read it and I was like awestruck by the beauty and the detail of her narrative and I feel very very similar to this one but in a very different way this one really focuses on like the smaller details and everything's like a very compact picture and I just think that it's stunning that it is stunning that I feel the need to now go out and buy this book and break it down into pieces to 
just analyze how beautiful her structure, the way that she works with her characters are. It's just stunning. And I also want to talk about Katrina as a character. Her growth and her comfort within herself was truly beautiful and showing how important outside sources are in someone's mental state. Oh my god! Like, it was beautiful. Like, it was a wonderful comparison of like, yes, there are aspects within yourself that you are in control of and that you need to focus on, but your outside influences also have such a strong impact. You can't just isolate like that. Like, that's not how we function. And that was such a wonderful point to make. It was just, it was just stunning. I loved it. There were a lot of trigger warnings. Um, I will put some of them up here just so you can have an idea of what you're getting into. It's a hard story to read. I think it's worth it if you can handle the content. So that's where we're at. Um, I did start A Quick Mezzi's Dear Synthurian, but I'll start talking about that in the next one. So I hope that everyone is having such a fantastic day. The end of the Trans Rights Readathon is upon us. Let's finish out strong and keep reading trans throughout the year. And I will see you all next time. Bye.